meet in Zurich, Switzerland. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For effect. <laughs> these, by the way, these are great headphones. These are Sonomas. They're just, just lovely electrostatic headphones. Okay. He, he writes to me, he says, I'm pretty happy with the detail, transparency, and the pace of the system listening through my Sennheiser headphones. But I'm not sure about the imaging. I don't use crossfeed. Now, do you think headphones are inherently worse in terms of imaging compared to loudspeakers? And do you think crossfeed is a must if you're using it? Thanks and best wishes. Well, first off, let's talk about crossfeed. And headphones don't have it. So when I put a pair of headphones on, I am hearing the left and the right without interference from either. When I listen to a pair of speakers, that doesn't happen. The left speaker hits my left ear first and half a millisecond later or so, because we know sound travels at one millisecond per foot, or one foot per millisecond. Uh, my face six inches? Yeah, probably something like that. Anyway, a uh, half uh, millisecond later, my right ear hears exactly what my left ear heard, and that's that crossfade. So some headphone systems will mix in left, and so they kind of you know ruin the stereo image or modify it. I don't know if ruin is the right word. I don't like it. I mean, when I listen to headphones, I don't use crossfeed. I don't try and duplicate the sound of the speakers. And I'm not a big headphone fan. I like them for the same reasons that Meat brings up that there is, boy, you can really hear the detail. You can hear deep into it in a way that you can't with speakers. And for obvious reasons. I'm not trying to reproduce a speaker experience when I listen to headphones. So I use them for very specific purposes. Here in the studio, they're very handy. Of course, for private, quiet listening, they're really handy. But there is nothing like a pair of speakers to me. They're visceral. I feel them. With headphones, I don't feel nothing. I hear it, but I don't feel it. And maybe it's just the 50 years I've been doing this, but over all that time, the visceral feel of speakers, the moving, the bass, the, the whole bit is an important element that I am not willing to give up, which is why I don't do much listening on headphones. But so to your question, I, you know, you can try it. It'll get you a little closer to a loudspeaker experience, but you're never going to get that visceral feel. And that to me is critical. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.